This Florida cooking segment brought to you by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Hey, today on the show we're going red, white, and blue with a prehistoric fish. That's right, we got Florida bio-recirculating aquaculture farm-raised sturgeon. And their babies. Chip, I have to be honest, really excited about what you're going to do with this next dish. That's right, this sturgeon is from Moat Marine where they have bio-recirculating aquaculture, so it's farm-raised sturgeon from Siberia, made, raised in Florida. Because taking sur sturgeon commercially or residentially in Florida here is illegal. Big no-no. No-no. We're going to start a blueberry barbecue sauce. Now this is going to go phenomenal with our sturgeon. We're kind of playing on the red, white, and blue thing here today. First thing, we got a medium-high little stock pot here. Okay. A little bit of oil going in. And we're going to start some aromatics here, a little bit of onion, Ooh. jalapeno. Chad, I'm going to let you stir for me. Okay. Now this is a great base for a barbecue sauce. Really, you can add whatever ingredients you like, and I encourage you to play around with your barbecue sauce. If you like a little more spicy, add some more spice, yeah. a little sweeter, a little more sugar, all those kind of things. So, so I got Florida blueberries here. Let's get them in. Man, I've never put blueberries in a hot pot. I'm sure you know what you're doing. You just put blueberries in a hot pot. I know, blueberries in. Okay, now let's add the rest of our ingredients to this, and then we're gonna let this cook down a little bit, okay? So we got a little hot sauce here. I like it spicy. This is a good Florida-made hot sauce. Mm. In the pan it goes. A little bit of vinegar. I've got some rice wine vinegar here. If you got red wine vinegar at the house, use okay. that. I got a little Dijon mustard, a little bit of brown sugar. Not too much. Sweet, spicy, pungent. We want it to hit on all those notes. All right. Now we have our sturgeon filet here. Medium hot pan. Olive oil. A little bit of olive oil, your favorite going oil. Going in. Beautiful fresh fish. All we want is a little salt and pepper. That's it. I don't need to do a lot, of, lot to this. Let's keep it simple, Chad. So there's no skin on there, just a filet. Looks That's like right. Just a straight up filet of a sturgeon. All right, when we lay it in the hot pan, we always want to lay away so we don't want any splatter. We splatter it that way. That Sorry. way. All right, now this basically, we just want to let this cook probably about two to three minutes on each side. Okay. We want it a little over medium. We don't want to overcook it. And then when we're pairing our fish with such strong flavors like a blueberry barbecue, then we really don't want to do too much to the fish. If we were just serving the fish alone, maybe we would herb crust it or maybe yeah. some pink peppercorns or something a little more strong like this. But yeah. we just want to highlight, you know, the, the beautiful, simple flavor of the fish and the nice flavors yeah. of this blueberry barbecue. All right, Chad, our fish is done. Our blueberry barbecue is almost done. This just needs to be pureed. Okay. So I'm gonna set this over here. And through the magic of television, I have some Shazam! ready to rock right there. Okay, now to serve this, I got a little bit of grilled watermelon here. It's a little fun. I think it'll go great with this red, white, and blue kind of set up here. Can you not grill? <laughs> Pretty much grill anything, you huh? Grill anything. Okay, I'm gonna put my sturgeon filet on. Oh, man. We'll use a little of the blueberry barbecue here. Oh, yeah. All right, Chad, here wow. we have it. Ha! Pan roasted stuff. Florida sturgeon farm raised with our blueberry barbecue sauce, some grilled watermelon. That's looking good, huh? And I saved a few fresh blueberries man. to garnish with. Nice. Looking forward to eating this. Never had sturgeon, so. Not only that, but we have some beautiful deviled eggs here. These are Florida eggs, of course, and we have the sturgeon caviar. Now this is quite a treat. I just want you to know how much that. of a treat this is. I'm just gonna take this caviar and put it right on top of these deviled eggs, just like that. Mm. Okay. Mm. So the caviar, is, I guess that's the byproduct of the fish, is that right? Actually, the meat is the byproduct of the caviar. The caviar makes the money mm. and it's phenomenal, but being able to utilize the meat also, it's a win-win situation. One of the fish, can you eat the fish and the eggs? There's not, few, there's not many of them out there, right? That's right. Man, what a great flavor. Good stuff. To learn this recipe and many, many more, go to our website. HowToDoFlorida.com. HowToDoFlorida.com. Mm. Like this caviar? This Florida cooking segment was brought to you by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services.